they drafted this. And what I'm going to be looking at is, again, their priority rotations into the XP lane the, and their invasion of the jungle. Because this Valentina the jungle, we know, is built with damage. Sometimes Wise goes hybrid. 50-50. 50-50. But the lineup the Blacklist drafted, it isn't just for the late game just because they have the Claude. Because they have the Valentina and Farsa, it could be an even quicker game here for Blacklist if they play their cards right. Yep, oddly enough, a mage jungle that snowballs. So yeah. Wise is going to have to play like an assassin here. And then again, live in Kyle Tz's jungle. We'll see if uh, that's the case here. What do we get from uh, this... Uh, this join the mid lane, right? Damage for sure, like killing factor onto like um, the squishy targets. Like uh, the decision for Blacklist to get back to the Farsa is good when it comes to their damage output, but it also brings them back to the point where the Lapu Lapu and the Joy will have a good time, like picking up a very poor target uh, onto the backside. And it's not like Oh My Venus can prevent that from happening. Lolita is not well equipped to kind of stop the Joy. Or the Lapu Lapu. Neither of them. So I guess that's what Bren was thinking. Uh, now that we're uh, talking about it out loud, they want to overload their choices. Yeah. Feels like it might take Few some time to farm up well because he's being dealt with in the mid lane uh, really well by Blacklist International. It might be some time before we really feel the damage coming out of that joy. And now. Think about this, if top lane is being pressured, as Blacklist has done since game one, and then mid as well, where does that leave Brandy Sports? Where do they find the farm? Where do they find the XP? Yeah. That is the question for them right now. Uh, oh. okay, it's up to Super Marco to do well in lane. Spot out, the king of the jungle here. Wise, able to dash again, I guess. We're forgetting how mobile a jungle Valentina really is, because all those yeah. dashes. Uh oh. Yeah. Eight to zero. He does have a split split, so he's fine. That was a good read by Brandon Sports, by the way. Oh, another engagement in mid. Oh, my Venus. But about half her health. Turtle already spawned. Oh, level 4, available for a few. He pressured all my Venus in there. I think you want to prevent this Lolita from also getting the ultimate up. But instead, Blacklist will just try to team fight around this turtle. Wait for oh my, uh, for Wise to be up. He's level 5 right now. And they are just resetting the turtle. Smart decision from Blacklist. Few with the ultimate though. Oh, popped it already, just clearing waves quick. I guess this is to help buy time for Kyle DZ to take that orange and make a beeline for the turtle. For sure. Now here, both teams of the turtle. Edward providing vision for Blacklist. Few in position, looking for US. Not going to be able to land the stun. It's four versus three with how it looks like in the map right now for both of these teams. Still no ult for this Joy. Oh, there you go. Popped it up. Edward at half health. Kyle DZ keeping the turtle where it needs to be. Oh, Abunjing very low. Is he going to get finished off? Uses that flicker. Flap DZ with the BF drawing a line between the members of Blacklist and this turtle. Brent secures it. Okay, this time uh, Brent Esports have uh, found a way to troubleshoot Blacklist International. Edward was a problem in the first two games. This time, when, when he showed up, they just li literally brought everything down and just give it to Edward just so that they will have better positioning around the turtle. Oh, better airstrike used in by Yume, cancelled by that taunt. In comes Few. So far, it looks like Brandy Sports. I might be saying this too soon, but they've taken all their lessons from game one and two oh, and have executed just as quickly. Oh, it's not too soon. You can see it already. He showcased and now they're the ones being aggressive doing the invading. Uh, Here we go, Wise at half health. Owl can't do much. In comes Flap. Oh, no one home. And Kyle Tz tries to taunt the gold laner from Blacks International. Flap Tz and Few very low. There's the heal, the bloom from Ogwin. Cancelled out the Numenon blast. And here comes the cavalry. Oh, an appraiser's wrath and a split split and a pull from Agent Zero. Kyle Tz gonna bite a here. First blood drawn by Yue. Oh. Brandy Swords overheating in that moment, overstayed for sure. And after the fact that uh, Flap TZ already missed the first uh, prop of the Bravest Warrior, maybe you consider Brandy Sports just to go get back. He won't have enough damage for that. And surely he had to use the Flicker to connect onto Owl once again, but Owl and Yui survived. Yeah. So many red flags already for Brandy Sports, but they still kept on pushing. Yeah, and Wise too, uh, was he, was, he was able to get it. And at the same time, it felt like Brandy. That felt like a, a team fight that, it would, if it went well, 
would have been great, but oh, flap might get caught out by you, eh? Ooh, using the shield to that old to maximum efficiency. A close call, but Wise wants to finish the job. Not gonna be able to catch him. And now it's Edward. Agent Zero is in trouble. There's a split split. Oh, he's gonna survive. What an answer by few to deal with Edward. And as I was mentioning earlier, it's like friend condition blacklist. Oh, oh what? Did I see you too soon. Oh, the idol to my kids. That's why he's been here since day one. Big advantage here for Brandy Sports in this hurdle fight. And Blacklist on the scene. This is a 5v4. Few at half health. Oh. He's getting a blasted. There's the bloom and the vengeance. Out very low. Count easy gets a shield for the rest of Brandy Sports. Wise going to get out of here with a Cyclo Knight. He has a love hate relationship with that one. And now Count easy comes in. The BF and the Appraiser's Wrath. Two go straight down. Brandy Sports. Wow. Massive win. Massive, massive, and this time you can see the plume in full fruition. Game number one, forget about it. Ogwen did not have great ultimates in game number one, but this time he did. And the stunts as well, connecting coming out from Ogwen. Brand Esports are now showing up. Really, troubleshooting from what happened in games number one and two, learning all the way through. Few now in the zone. Oh, Mr. Arkangel is in the building. He's playing footies with three members of Blacklist. That's how much Bren is making the most of this nearly 3k gold lead. Blacklist are shrinking it though. They're making a bit of bank. At least that's one thing they can hold on to. At least Wise's farm is still Wise's farm. You see him farming comfortably there alongside Al. Al trying to go for the poke and chase. Map open up for Bren Esports. Two turtles, two turrets broken by Bren. Blacklist, no major objective secured just yet. Gold laners have switched lanes. 47 seconds until the next turtle spawns. Uh, will Blacklist try to go for a major sequence here? Seems like the answer might be yes. Let's see if they'll try to force something to break a tower elsewhere in the map before the turtle. Now, finally in this best of five series, Brandy Sports is in control. Oh. And as they are in control, Wolf, they pull the trigger. They come on in, engage, force out an early split split from Edward. And just like that, oh, spotted. And there's a Numenum Blast on the one. An RWM not in check. The, the Eve was banned out. That was actually a feathered airstrike. And just like that, Ogwin gets popped. And in the back line, wise. Forcing out the Vengeance, could have gotten a kill. Edward, very low, knocked up, at a third of his health. Here comes Flap Easy, throwing out those dual blades. Blacklist is fine. Oh, they're gonna be fine, but of course, Brandy Sports will have control of the turtle. Now, all the while that's happening, this is a game where Carl Super Marco is with his signature carry. Yeah. Was one of his highest win rate heroes in Season 10. And also this time, he is farming a lot. Unlike in games number one and two where Blacklist were able to just find where the drafting pattern was for Super Marco. And all of the things that made it difficult for Brandy Sports in games one and two, they already stopped that from happening. Brand Esports Super Marco was a the carry before carry became popular yet again. At one point in FBF Philippines Season 10, he had a stat line of 20 plus kills, yeah. 14 to 17 assists, zero deaths as a carry across multiple games. Yep. Comfort, it's an understatement in the hands of Super Marco with this hero. Oh. Now Ogwen is a target of Blacklist. That's four members on Blacks International that Ogwen was fending off. He was checking that bush, and indeed, there were. Now, in mid, it looks like this seems to be the next play for Brandy Sports before they make a official push for the Lord. Ogun and Kyle DZ coming in with Flap as well, with the BF! A Numenon Blast keeps him in, but it's gonna be too late! The Queen can't save the King of the Jungle this time around! Now Yue John? gets caught out by an Appraiser's Wrath! Down he goes, two down already for Blacks International! Brandy Sports gonna force the issue! They're gonna let Agent Zero and the Queen go, and just as we speak, Few has been pushing up top! Owl exposes himself, you have to be careful about this, but my oh my, what a jump! Coming out from Bren, and the Appraiser's Wrath! from Kaltizi. This is looking like a Bren Temple game. Surely. A Bren Temple rotation. Now in the zone, in control. What else can they do here? Has they broken another turret? The map of Blacklist breaks <laughs> by the minute. This is this is definitely what Brandy Sports have planned for, right? When we saw game number one, they picked up uh, a, a hero that the, the, the Florin, I mean, but they didn't have a hero that kind of 
get a, a, a is activated by the floor. This time with the Frederick oh. in front, right, from the jungler's perspective. You have a hero that can actually soak the damage and live through it so that when he's healed up, eventually Benny Sports already burned out so many utilities from Blacklist International. And this, you can see it, right? Even after the Numino Blast, there's no supplement that Brandy Sports cannot Look at Fuel. sustain through. Oh wow, Fuel went 3v1 and put Wise down to a fourth, maybe even a fifth. That's how far ahead Brandy Sports is as the rest of Brent were taking the Lord. Wolf, you were saying. Yeah, it's uh, he can definitely see that um, he is activated. In game number one, Fuel didn't have a good time because he had to sustain for his team as well. But now he is playing solo, right? The, the way that he wanted to play it. This time the, uh, uh, the, the Cal TC special is a Fredrin, which, you know, we, we know that it's not his signature pick, but he's playing so well. Yeah. Almost a 2,000 gold lead for the gold laner of Brand Esports. Al coming from behind. The entirety of Blacklist International behind as Brand Esports marches forward up top. Top lane going to get barreled on through, popping that holy shield. Speaking of shield, oh my Venus trying to stop this siege from happening. And it looks like it's mission accomplished for the code breakers. They will stop Brand Esports from knocking down their inhibitors. All right. Red Esports continues to play forward, incredibly aggressive. And as I say so, it looks like they might set up for another play here. Will they pull the trigger is the big question. Keep an eye out for Flap Teasy. We usually expect it from Ogwin, but he's on a flooring right now. Oh, Marco already showed himself. Wise, he really needs this. He desperately needs his buff, man. He hasn't gotten one in the past minute. There you go. A little bit of breathing room for Blacklist. Now. I'm thinking of ways for uh, Blacklist International to come back. Um, you can argue that this club will have enough damage in the latter portions of the game. And he's not also a marksman that is that concerned about the Lapu Lapu initiations. Surely that will be a problem. But another layer that Blacklist International needs to activate is Yue. This time the Farsa. We already criticized this big coming up from Blacklist that there's a lot of counters already to this hero. But he plays a very, very important role and that role is damage. Right? He needs to deal the damage for the entirety of Blacklist International to finish through. Maybe if he is going to go for that sacrificial route where he pops his feathered airstrike and he's fine to be taken out by Bren, as long as he already did his job, it's going to be okay. So that might be the option here for Blacklist International. Conditions set for a potential comeback for Blacklist. Can they meet it? Brent still continues wow. the aggressive play. Oh, Hugh clearing up top and an invade by Brent on bottom. Kyle Deasy has started to live inside Wise's jungle. That's right, the last orange buff that Wise got yeah. was one of the few that he actually got his hands on yeah. in this game three. It's round three. Wow. He, th that's it. Yeah. My house now. My house now. Let's see if Wise can kick him out. By the way, few opted to go for the early blood mix after the. He, it is his third item. Because <coughs> that's the way he plays. He plays so aggressively to the back lines. He wants to make it so that both Yue and Wise will not be safe while he is safe. Uh, I just need to point out that little thing there that was happening in the orange buff uh, that looked like that was supposed to go to the hands of uh, Owl actually on the Claude because why stepped away from the orange buff to secure it uh, for the Claude and but he still ticked it he still ticked it because of the passive of the the jungler jungler effects uh, right. for objective uh -huh. so oh well, Wise gets a buff but uh, that wasn't the plan might not be what they plan. needed yeah might not be what they needed exactly yeah. Owl here a little too deep BMI on out he's gonna be safe Brain Sports gonna play this uh, the old fashioned way, gonna trust the process, sink the waves, and have this luminous lord crash in up top. You imagine trust the process, that's been the entire story of Brenny Sports I agree. since their downfall in season eight. For two years now. Two years and counting of trusting the process. Well worth it, man. Oh, Numino Blast by Oh My Venus coming in from the side lane. Wow. And that flicker engaged, but no dice. The Queen is going to fall with an appraiser's wrath. Lord going to crash in up top. And down Woo. goes the gold laner, the gold medalist Owl. And just like that, NT for Blacklist in that engagement. But Brent is inside Phew. your face. And Rise ah. is going to go down. Few takes him down. Mid is going to crash in as well. The Lord is still up. There's waves here. Agent Zero gets popped. Few gets 2K. Ladies and gentlemen, Brenny Sparks is on the board.
we reset from one of the greatest games of all time to a turnaround. No sweeps will happen today. Brandy Sports claps back and gets game number three. And they play it in a game that they were very comfortable with. There's so many signature picks in here, like Flap TZ's uh, age-old um, Lapu Lapu pickup from his uh, championship run in M2. And of course, Super Marco dying it back with this one.